Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so yes. this is another song from Padmavat, and uh, I I think this is going to be in- really interesting because it is again another Sanjay Leela uh, composition, and I think he's very uh, I don't know detailed uh, into his vision. So it is a shorter piece, but it's been really requested lately. Uh, there's also been lots of requests for obviously the movie review and stuff like that. I maybe I should announce a bit early even though it's, it's not even yet in the works but we are planning on creating different channels where we also review movies um, and stuff like that which I think that would be quite fun obviously movies that have musical scores because that's our area of expertise not fucking reviewing movies um, but given the fact that in India it, like the musical score and the movie are so closely related we are thinking of doing like Feature Friday Movies channel uh, but the biggest hurdle for that is an editor so if you're an editor you might want to get in touch um, but go on, anyways. Okay, let's have a <clears> look. <throat> wow. What's his name again? His name is Shahid Kapoor. Right. Shahid. Okay. Cool. She's so beautiful. So unfair. This is what makes him so fucking impressive as a composer, mm-hmm. Sanjay. That is so everything is so closely related and so intertwined. Like pull it back again. His compositions are some of the hardest to review because yes. we also have to understand that you know some people are also coming to listen and stuff like that. I recommend you you go and to the original. You can always watch in your own time. Um, but go pull it back again. Even more. The environmental essence. So you, so you had you had the presence of the bell beforehand. So you had the bling bling bling. So bling. he gives you this like uh, this introduction into the visual environment that you're being also included into. It's more like of like a four D experience the way he approaches his scores it's like well yeah. how can i stimulate the only two senses that you got when you watch a fucking movie yeah. you know only visual and auditory how can i stimulate them enough so that you i can i can submerge you enough into You're that world consumed. so that yeah. you know what that world sounded like not just that scene but the world yes i want i wanted to know that there are bells around in that area he is sitting down and the woman looking at him She's wearing lots of jewelry, but there's wind, so that may make that it's going to make sound. I want you to put yourself in the shoes of the actor, no, of the it's, character. It's not, yeah, exactly. It's not even the actor. You're being transported into this particular room in which you're watching the 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 scene from. It's like you are a bird's eye view type of character, right? But you're so included. You're so. Yeah, involved. you're so involved in the in, most in obvious the obviously relationship. Scene. Put it again. Put the screen up. It's you know the drop with the bells. No, with his sitting. Yeah, that's so clever. <laughs> See, it's so clever. Also, I love before we move to the next scene. I love the that the emotion is also interpreted in the in the musical score. The way that you feel certain uh, 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 emotions, you know the the rom- the romantic in in uh, implication just by the chord progression in which you're being also stimulated in uh, in his particular gaze. The, the the music in that moment becomes so uh, environmental it becomes so ethereal so it, it stops losing there's no rhythmic section to it so it becomes very airy very floaty i think also they they, they have they have such freedom because um because of the combination of indian classical music uh, you have such freedom of tempo play mm-hmm. because Indian classical is quite complex when it comes to sort of tempo management or even even just the principles are like well they're tala right yes you have so much freedom to play with which 
um, the only probably fair comparison of the complexity and the freedom in which you have the canvas, the true musical canvas in which you have is classical music from the West, you know, yes. in, the, in the more orchestral sense. Um, mm. But without having an orchestra, you can create so many sounds here and you can introduce so many uh, uh, ideas of signatures, mm -hmm. t t t time signatures, um, so you can create disparity in moments of this is where perhaps in the scene you're getting like a, an, an an idea of rhythm, right? With the swing. But instead of doing it on a four by four, yes. they don't because yes. love is unpredictable. That's right. Love isn't a pop song. <laughs> Correct. You know? So that that th those type of men like the mentality and the approach behind a score like that. I know, and it also lets you into the whole idea that this is a complicated relationship. We don't. I don't know the movie. I don't know whether. Uh, whether I've seen parts of it. I, I fell asleep though. But I, I'm gonna watch it. I tell you what. I, I promise you this. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna watch it this weekend. I, on Sunday. I'm working Sunday. Oh, Bali has a gig. Oh, by the way, I met some of you guys, and I actually a couple of subscribers. I think a couple of you were from like India. And then the other week we met a couple of you that were from... I thought I like, where the fuck? I didn't ask. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but we had a brilliant time meeting you guys. So yeah. if you do meet us in the, in the mean, outside world, come up! I we'll presume the people that we met the other day in the festival were from India because you said you enjoyed the Indian music reviews, but you could be from somewhere else. I don't know. Correct. Nice. Also, one of you look like Padukone. So go... <laughs> Percussion is so clever. What is that? Six by four? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Wow. You see, there, there is a natural. You already know, and I have. I don't know anything about the relationship between these two characters. And you understand the complication. You understand the the, the complexity, right? Yeah, the, the complexity. But complication. No. What the fuck does that mean? Is that a word? Yeah, I think so. Because complexity. Never mind. Let's move on from that. I don't know how to explain it. It. I think the idea where I'm trying to get at is that. I think it might be a word. It's the is the is the fact that there is conflict mm. laying right underneath everything that we're seeing so the playfulness the 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 lo the love loving gazing <clears throat> gaze all of those moments are just the surface yeah. and we are some somehow being introduced into this subtext that is complicated and and well developed as well who's a singer uh-huh the singer. The singer's very good. But the I don't recognize him. Is. Singer Shivan Patak. Shivan Patak. Yeah. Cool. She put his name on the title. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they put it in the description, but go All on. Right. She's such a great actress. We will. I do have to say we we will obviously break down the lyrics because um, there is so so much more value that we could probably depict then after making our predictions now and then looking at the lyrics to see if his mm. if see if it actually makes sense, but. Um, there's also another moment there with the. It's the first time we've been introduced to a string instrument. Um, well, maybe not. Yes, in terms of like a uh, a the strumming, continuum. a strumming instrument. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. It's, it sounds like a banjo, but it's not. I forget what the name of it is. But go left when she turns around on them. <laughs> Too far ahead. It's before that. Way way before that. Here. A bit more. Oh yeah, like a mandolin tone. 
type of Such a loaded Question, apologies for the interruption. What do you call that in India? When in, I've, I've, I've asked, but no one ever answers me. Maybe someone has in the comments, but there's thousands of them. Um, in Spanish, in, in Spain, you call them castañas. That, 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 that you'll do that probably with castañas. Yeah, but like it has like a bell. Yeah, so what like the fuck? layered with bells. What do you too? call that? I've been, I, I want to upgrade my, my drum kit. I'm looking to upgrade everything lately, like in my drum kit, with more sounds, because I want to be more musical with my stuff. Yeah. Um, because I'm listening to music like this, like yes. Sanjay Lee, like you listen to him long enough, he's gonna, you're gonna really want to fucking have just curtains all over your drum kit. Yeah. Um, I want to be like a minor percussionist on a drummer at the same time. <laughs> but there's been I've, been, I've been looking for a couple of things like stacked cymbals and stuff like that to create, you know, like kind of like a China sound with like with splashes. And then I want, I want, a, I want those sounds, those like environmental sounds that you. We saw this experimental jazz concert the oh, other day fantastic. as well. Fantastic! Where Brilliant. that drummer, that woman, was able to create so much sounds, so so many it sounds from nature, so many emblematic, uh, like so much atmosphere. That I was like, "Fuck, I need to get that stuff," but I didn't have a chance to speak to her. She walked right past me as well, and then I spoke to someone, but I spoke, that was turns out it was a singer, you know. And then the other woman, she was playing later as well. <laughs> That's um, pretty cool, though. But go on. Yeah. If anyone knows, let me know. Again, in this, me the link. <laughs> in this particular scene, though, you're you're also being introduced to, like, a triumphant, triumphant energy, too, with the bells, with the and ringing. They're preparing for war. Of course, but there's there's a, maybe, not triumph, but a sense of pride. There's also immense pain in her eyes. Oh, ginormous. So I think he's going to die. Yeah, because probably. at least even if you're not the symbolism of war that's essentially what it means yeah correct you know? if you go to war you must be prepared to die well yes so that's what the symbolism yes. I think maybe I, I, mean, I am wrong he's wearing lots of cool clothing though. maybe he is a leader looks like it yeah of the battalion what a voice that sword yeah there you go Loves her and she's devastated. Brilliant. Bad mother. Max. Sanjay Lee. Sanjay Lee love film. film. Who's the composer? Because he's he's Sanjay. the director though, isn't no, he? No, he's the composer of the track. Oh, right. The lyrics are actually done by. Let's give people their dues. Let's give people their flowers. Uh, singer. The, is the lyrics are by A. M. Turas. Turas. Mm -hmm. I see. They work closely together yeah. often. Show up, mate. Show people oh, can see. Sorry. It. I can't, I can't zoom in though. Doesn't matter. Uh, song credits. Song produced by Sanchit Balara. Mm. And then the Cavalli singers. And song and the songs recorded, mixed and mastered by Tanai Gajar at Flutter Studios. Cool. And assisted by Rupak Takur. Amazing, dude. What the hell? Put the lyrics up. Yes, no problem. Yeah, our prediction would probably be, I know you guys enjoy when we make stuff like that, predictions <laughs> or whatever. Um, yeah, he's going to war. Yeah, well, I also think he is the. <laughs> I also think he is the 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 man in front, like you call the it leader. sergeant or something. I don't know. Not, war I, stuff. He doesn't look like a sergeant, but more like a the leader of the battalion. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that the sergeant father? What, what the fuck is it? When you're like the boss of the boss uh -huh. in war. I think he's got his headphones. Yeah, on. he's not. Yeah, he was listening to the song before. He does that. He just listens to it and he goes to, you know, he goes off and he sort of thinks about it. And then after we record the fucking video, he starts he's talking like, to me about it. He's like, actually, I have it, and I'm like, great, Dad, yeah. thank you. But anyway, so late. <laughs> ek dil ke, ek jan he, dono tu. Oh, that's not English. I have one part, one heart. I have one life. Ah, that's what it means. I have one heart, and I'd sacrifice them both for you. There is me and there is my integrity and I'd sacrifice them both for, for you. you. Oh, wow, that's gorgeousness. You are my love, my affection, you're my talk, my nature, my emotion, you're my fight, my flight and my soul of my music and the soul of my music. You are my breath, my pulse, my life. Wow. You are my secret, my lucky charm, my hope, my thirst and my robe. 
You are my victory and my loss. You are my work, my kingdom and my mood. That's such an interesting sentence. You are my victory and my loss too. Because there is the belief that, there's not a belief. I think it's actually the right approach, even if, especially if you're a sportsman. But even in life, I guess, <clears throat> that losses uh, must stand for something. They must mean something, just as much as wins do. Um, like the learning curve of a loss. Okay. It's so important. Um, and essentially, you don't really lose anything. You just learn more. Depends okay. as well in what stage of your career you're on. Um, but to you know, sort of say that to your loved one, um, it's so intriguing because you're the lessons I am yet to learn. I think it's more about what he is willing to lose. You are my victory, you are my loss. Yes, but if he if he could win in a war, but she could die and he's losing. I see what you mean. So it like it it's the biggest in it, putting it into the 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 uh, atmospheric environment of the music video. Um, if he were to return and she wasn't there, then that would be his biggest loss. Exactly, it is like the most precious, the, the most precious element he has in his life. Yeah, that's fair. That's probably the right answer. So that I think that's that's where, although in in modern times, your interpretation actually does. Why not make in elden more... times though? You're the lesson I'm yet to learn. The fuck because I think time? because I think the compromise in these times between lovers especially to this level it was so absolute it was seen as an absolute not not as not as a passing you never i don't think it was ever uh maybe observed as a passing chapter in one's life it was something absolute i'm not uh, okay maybe i didn't express it well enough i meant in the sense of in his personal life in his personal development, in his search of a soul, in his search for salvation. Okay. She is the lessons he is yet to learn, as well as he is, she is his biggest achievement. So through her... He is um, learning the most. He, yeah, and she has the lessons he is yet to learn. Right. I meant it more in that sense. Fair enough. That, 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 that's how I, but again, that's probably more for my... It's poetic. Yeah, that's what I mean, because... Mm. That's such an intriguing sentence. You are my victory and my loss. That's true, because it's so juxtaposed. Exactly. But also, you know, victory is the maximum elation hmm. of, of, you know, of emotion. Um, but loss is then, you know, the the opposite of that. It's the greatest fe feeling of defeat, mm -hmm. you know, of darkness. So yeah. she is essentially both. She's her, his yin and yang. Basically, kind of thing. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, probably, I think you're probably correct. Anyways. In every destination of my love, in every morning, in every evening, there is a splendor. I love that word, splendor. Especially when people hear it in Britain say, oh, splendid. Uh, there is a pride, and I'd sacrifice them both for you. Yeah, I, I, that's a very accurate line, especially historically. And I do like the point you made as well of, because everything back in the day, what so, um, the stakes were so much higher. War was such a prevalent uh, mm -hmm. uh, theme. I mean, not theme, but you know, unfortunate, a a unfortunate reality, I'd yes. call it, um, that life and death were, you know, were very real, much more real than now. You know, I don't really have to face life and death decisions in a weekly basis or in a monthly basis, mm -hmm. not even in a yearly manner. You know what I mean? Yes. So for them, it was like an everyday thing. And that idea of you are my splendor, right? And you're also my pride, but I'm willing to put them all on the line for you, in war, in battle, in the most carnal sense, yes. in the darkest, you know, moments of humanity, I'll do that for you. That's right. a fucking man, that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Indeed, I, I, I totally agree. And, in, there's and that's a woman, more, dude. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing more... She can endure that pain. God, there's nothing more romantic than the idea of love and sacrifice. And it, again, th that's what made Romeo and Juliet so... Uh, completely idealized in, in 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 history is the is the the tragedy of love itself and, and if it doesn't have sacrifice it didn't actually have any value to begin with you know well there you yeah. have it awesome what a awesome. wonderful piece what a wonderful music video um yeah i will watch it this week and then i'll let you know okay. we can't drop a podcast because this week we'll be joined by a korean 
group, pop group, Unite. Um, so happy days. I expect you all to be there. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. See you later.